welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out the new Christmas Island in Trailmakers. Uh, they have completely redesigned it. They had Christmas Islands in previous years, but uh, this is the massivest, the most massive one that we've had so far. And it looks like there's some great like ski routes and stuff on here. This is just the danger zone. Oh, look at all the snow particles and everything. This is the danger zone. So you normally there's an island over here, but uh, the shape of it has been drastically changed. And it looks like we've got gnomes, a snowman, a nice Christmas tree, candy canes, and some uh, loot or presents or something. Here, let me... I didn't even realize the whole back of this had stuff too. Let me try to do a nice landing down here. And it's probably just gold, right? Eh. Oh, I missed it apparently. Wait, can I not open the present? Six. <gasps> Is this like one of those calendar things? where you actually have to open it on the day. So this is, it's been a couple of days. Where's number one? I have to go find number one. 12. Okay, this is actually gonna be harder than I expected. I was about to turn the uh, the daytime on. It, it spawned in night automatically because I think of all the, the lights and stuff. But I think it's gonna be easier to find these presents in the nighttime. This is number 10. All right, well, anyway, after I find wherever number one is, um, my goal is to, I just want to build a sled of sorts. I'm probably going to have like some type of gyro sled or something, something cool, something a little bit different using the new pieces. And I'm just going to build something that is going to go down these slopes in a fun way. Maybe a snowboard. Maybe, yeah, maybe a snowboard or something. Whoa, look at this. Little, there's a bunch of little like gnomes or something around this one. Hey, number three. All right, so apparently it is uh, at least the third day. And apparently the last couple days are not gonna be just gold. I think like the 24th to the end of the year or something like that. I don't completely remember exactly uh, what the note said, but I know that there's something different happening with the gifts, something a little bit more significant towards the end of the month. All right, you know what? Let me uh, get to the top of the mountain here and let's start building. And then I can also use whatever I build hopefully to navigate towards the presence whoa oh, oh look at that okay well there there's your answer there's 24 24 is a massive presence it's actually looks pretty good in the daytime too all right let's get up to the top here all right so this is what the island looks like from the highest point and check out these lights we have some cool thruster lights auto stabilized thruster lights oh, yeah this is a spawn point we got a spawn point up here so that's actually pretty convenient so whoa that's really steep there it looks like you can do with the candy canes, you can even do some like slalom style. So let me try to build a snowboarder. I'm trying to think of ways to do it, but the uh, the stabilization stuff is probably gonna come in really, really handy. I just gotta figure out how big do I want this guy to be? Should I use this as the head? Should this be like a snowboarder head? Or should I have like the this be the body and then I'm kind of riding it like a mech? Well, first thing we gotta do, let's actually figure out how is the snowboard gonna work? What does the snow even drive like? Probably dirt, it's probably just white dirt. Yeah, it probably is just the same properties of uh, as all the dirt on the map. So certain wheels, like the off-road wheels probably work better on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, off-road off -road wheels are no problem. But I might want to try out the skis for this. All right, maybe I'll have the snowboard be like this width. So for the board itself, I don't know, I feel like I might be building this too small, but I want to try to have it have the lips that raise up on the front and back. How's that look? I feel like my board needs to be a little bit wider, actually. Now that I have my seat on here, uh, we're probably gonna have to go kind of big. All right, how's that look for a snowboard? I think it looks pretty good, actually. I, I was thinking about putting skis on it like this to have it be as stable as possible, but I'm wondering, actually, if I put the skis in the middle, because part of snowboarding is carving, and in order to carve, you want the board to actually tilt on its edge. So if I have the skis in the middle like this, then I can build some type of tilting mechanism, and now it has, like, a pivot point that it can kind of uh, tilt onto its edge from. See, how cool would it be if that is my turning orientation? And then somehow I can balance myself as well. This is already doing weird things. So my plan was to try to, I, I'm gonna try to maybe build like a person thing on it. See if I can accomplish that somehow. I'm starting to think I took the scale a little bit too big with this one because this is just getting very large for a person. All right, I'm getting there with the body shape. Uh, and what I want to do is I'm hoping to program so that like when I press the turning buttons, it'll actually make his body move in a snowboarder turning kind of way. Right now, I haven't programmed anything. This is just the default. Oh, look at that. We're T-posing already. 
kind of looks cool though. I actually haven't put any um, balancing or controls, but I don't know. I just kind of, the, the snowboarder was to me the more important part right now. All right, I think I'm gonna run into a lot of issues with this because uh, I'm pretty happy with the animation that I've made. It's relatively simplistic, but good enough, I think. So I got my left turn and I got my right turn and it's all kind of about the movement of the back leg and the hips. And um, the problem is I'm a very, very wobbly character here. And I think that's just gonna make it extremely difficult to uh, balance. But that the wobbliness might just be becoming because I'm anchored hard to the ground. Maybe if I'm not anchored to the ground, it might feel different here. Let's give ourselves a little bit more of a stable base and just see what happens. Right now, I have no other controls other than just my joints. So I got no auto balance gyros and no turning gyros or even, even any thrust or anything like that. I just want to see if I'm here. Okay. Well, first of all, my weight isn't that great, apparently. Okay, see, I'm not nearly as wobbly now. That's good. It was just the anchor block. All right, now for balance... The problem is, uh, not a lot of this is vertical. So, like, the only thing uh, I can really add a stabilizer to, to that makes sense is the board itself. But it's so down low. And also, like, oh, I can add it to my feet. Yeah, the feet can work. All right, there we go. It's like little shoelaces or something. So, now let's see. Oh, I don't even have those on, like, a strength setting or anything. Let's just put them on strength 10 for now. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're all, oh, we're snowboarding. <laughs> this thing is too big. I think I actually built it too big. But I am also, I am kind of realizing that the issue with the stabilizers is it's good for flat terrain, but what if the terrain ends up being angled? Then I'm not gonna go with the terrain, you know? So I'm gonna add some inertia or uh, some quantum rudders to this thing. We're gonna have the strength be max. I don't actually, can I? Will these work with turning? All right, it actually does appear to work with turning. I also am going to want a lean into my turning. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, what about the other? So I, I don't know why I have this like, this part of my build is stuck here and I can't even, backspacing doesn't even get rid of it. So I just gotta deal with that for now. Turning heel side and turning toe side. Heel side, toe side. All right, that's feeling good. Now, um, I don't have any thrust, but I'm just kind of curious, what does it feel like to go without any thrust right now? Just letting gravity do its thing, you know, like snowboarding. Oh, I caught an edge. Okay, all right, all right, all right go, go down, forward. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hot. Oh, oh, we, we had a bit of an accident there. All right, the inertia block is supposed to help me stay, you know, going in one direction. Why am I just spinning? I can't tell where, I can't tell what direction those things are turning. Oh, they're reversed. That may have been what was messing me up. The inertial blocks don't actually seem to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So therefore I'm going to just add another gyro. All right, oh, catch the edge. Oh, oh no, all right, that's not what I want. So then the problem with this is the edge doesn't actually dig into the snow like it would in real life. Wait, what is happening? Why is it staying up in the air? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, so right now the inertia blocks aren't, I mean, they're actually, they're not doing as much of a good job as I wanted them to with uh, keeping my directionality, but actually this is feeling much better on this terrain. Okay, and we have that problem. I need to bring the skis perhaps. These need to go a lot farther forward. Here we go. We're snowboarding. We're snowboarding. The gyro on the bottom is bad. I think that's why uh, hanging up on the ground sometimes. There we go, turn. The edges have too much friction. All right, I might, you know what? I might be able to do this. See what I'm saying? Oh my God, look at my complexity. Complexity just goes so far up with these skis. These, these skis add a lot of complexity, but these might stop that friction issue from happening. And I'll just move this onto the top for now. Okay, here we go. I think we're, I don't, I don't know if I should have went this way. This is the Black Diamond Trail. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? This is amazing right now. 
This is so good right now. I'm snowboarding. I'm snowboarding and trail make this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Oh, oh no, we're tumbling. We're tumbling. Okay, I recovered. Uh oh, we're going down. We're going down tricky style. Okay, the, the turning gyro is too much now. I need it to be a lot more subtle. This is actually, this is turning into something way more cool than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be, I thought I was gonna be fumbling like crazy and have it not be going well at all, but that actually felt a little immersive. All right, let's try it this way. Come on. Because keep in mind, I have no, I have no other source of thrust other than uh, the gravity itself. Oh, we're carving, we're carving hard. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, right in the hip. Oh. I think that's a broken femur. All right, we're going back. Let's do a re quick repair real quick. Oh, why did I repair that way? Okay. All right, lean this way. All right, now lean this way. Oh, see that? That felt pretty good. It The turning is not digging in as much as I want it to. Come on. Come on, dig. Ugh. Oh, that was almost awesome. It really, it's a little bit like inconsistent with how strong the turning gyro seems to be but i'm i'm having a lot of fun with this so far i think i need to i need to start um building out the character a little bit more let's give him a face and stuff make this thing i haven't even like really detailed it at all but now that we're having some functionality down i'm feeling good about this all right i've painted him up we've basically got a snowboarding buster here and i even uh using one of the decals gave like a this makes like the perfect christmas sweater pattern unfortunately it only work it only applies to the front i also made like a cool little snowboard pattern there and I've tried to do some, oh, 360. I've tried to do some tuning and adjustments to the controllability of this thing, but it's not, it, it's not easy. I also, I added some thrust to my feet. You can see there's uh, some thrusters down there. There's also reverse for potentially slowing down, um, just so that I don't have to deal with those flat spots. Um, but, uh, Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. But I really wanted to get that nice, like, carving kind of feel to it. But because we're not actually carving in the snow, it's super hard for me to really simulate that. Um, even with the, the leaning doesn't always work the way that I want it to as well. But because technically, as I turn in one direction, the board is supposed to lean in that direction as well. And it seems to be a little bit better to the front than the back. Uh, like, uh, my character is kind of, he's, uh, he's wearing my character like a backpack pretty much. But all in all, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this thing. Oh yeah, look at this Christmas tree, it looks really nice. He's got a very, very concerned face. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed the Christmas hat too with the, uh, it has a, a bobbing little uh, hoof ball on the end of it as well. But now we can at least go across ground and here go in this direction and see what number is this that is 13 i know there's some more there's i haven't found one or two yet oh we're doing some tricks doing some flatland tricks i feel like one should have been like the easiest one to find maybe it is down there like at the end here let's go down here again do some jumps i wonder if i can do a 360 ready huh? oh my goodness this might work oh <gasps> Oh, it didn't stick the landing. I felt like we really should have stuck that landing. All right, we got another jump going on. It's actually pretty well designed for these jumps here. All right, ready? 360. I love the trails. Oh, man. The trails for the uh, inertia blocks actually make this really cool. So I wonder if the first... Oh, is that the first person over there, maybe? There's a couple presents over here. Oh, there's a lot of presents over here. There's some um, little elves or gnomes or something by this present. This is number two. Oh, I got to get out. There we go. We got some more gold. Not that I need it. Okay, Buster's leaving us. And this is 21. One of these has to be number one. Where's number one? Maybe it's that one with those gnomes over there. <gasps> Maybe the gnomes indicate a package that is ready for opening. Let's go test it. So number two had them. I think, did number three have them? Is this number four? Oh, they're not gnomes. They're chirpos. Okay, here's number four. Oh, the chirpos! Chirpos spawn around the presents that are ready to be opened. There's some over there. Oh no, what happened to your mouth? Alright, so this must be number one then. It's actually kind of like the first thing you would see. Very well framed on this island. Oh, yes! That's so cool, the chirpos spawn in! Yeah, rather than having to come up and read the numbers to see if you're even going to be able to open it, if there's uh, chirpos by it, then you're probably good. And did you see that turnaround there? That was epic. 
All right, so I think those are all the presents that are ready to be opened so far. I can't wait to see what the bigger present is going to be. That 24 for uh, Christmas Eve in the middle? That seems like it's going to be a juicy present. All right, let's do one more one more uh, run down the mountain here. I'm going to go to the right side this time. I'll turn that way. Why aren't you leaning? He doesn't lean backwards very well. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. All right, let's try to go to the right this time. Yes. All right, now lean back, lean back. There we go. Now lean back. Oh, oh. This is actually not a bad run here. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Gravity is uh not gravity, but like the the for the turning forces are making me lean in directions I don't want to go, which happens sometimes. All right, but we survived that run down to the bottom. That didn't feel too bad. I just wish my leaning worked a little bit better, but other than that, I don't have a whole lot of complaints about Snowboarder. Snowbuster. We'll call him Snowbuster. All right, so this is the Christmas update. We got a bunch of gold. If you guys want to get some gold, every single day a new present is going to be available until, uh, I guess, the end of the month. I, I wonder if 24 is the last one. 24 seems to be the most prominent one. I don't know if there's like a 25. There, there must be a 25 for Christmas Day somewhere, right? I don't know. I guess you're going to have to tune into the island and see what happens throughout December. So if you have any like holiday themed, snow themed kind of multiplayer challenges, let me know down in the comments below and I'll let the guy, the Trailmakers guys know that uh, we got some ideas because we're looking for stuff. Probably like something with sleds or I don't know, maybe something more creative than that. Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.